So a cool functionality of the transpose tool is that you can actually use it for clipping. So here I've just activated it by pressing W and now holding control, we can click on the scale tool and we'll basically be clipping this from the top. If I drag down and if I drag up, we clip it from the bottom. We can let go and then choose to do it from the top or from the bottom and we can kind of cycle through these um, or do either one by just dragging up or down. We do the same left or right. This is basically just going to look at our transform gizmo and use that as our basis. So if you hold down Alt, Alt on the transform gizmo will look at the surface normal and point in that direction. So we can get a different surface normal depending on which direction we're facing. And now we can clip in this direction. And if I clipped the other way, we'd be pulling in from the other side. Uh, this is really cool for creating hard surface shapes. You notice that it is clipping, it's not trimming. So if I press Shift F, you can see that these faces are just getting pushed together rather than um, actually trimmed off. So sometimes you may get little ridges like this. So if I just un undo this stuff, you notice that this is the furthest point to the right hand side of the screen and the left hand side of the screen. So if I clip past that point, those points are now all getting pushed down. So they're going to create this lip around the outside of our object here. So you have to be careful when you do that. That's the only thing. This is the exact same as if I had held down control and shift and changed to a clip curve and then dragged out a stroke uh, where we'd be clipping and we'd be pushing this stuff exactly the same way. Again, if I clipped past that halfway mark, which is around here, if I clip down here, that stuff will get pushed down and we get that same lip. This differs from the trim curve. Uh, if we hit the trim curve tool and we try and do this, it's it's uh, it's going to replace that geometry with a whole other piece of geometry, which means we can do it lower than the highest point on, on either side and it won't actually create that lip for us. However, if we have subdivisions on this and we have divided this for whatever reason and we try and use a trim curve, that's not going to work. It can't, that will change the geometry and so it's not going to let us change the geometry if we have subdivisions. That's never allowed. In the same way, you can't mirror or do anything else with this. However, you can still use the clipping. So I can hold down control and just use that even though I have subdivisions on, which is kind of handy. So where does this come in useful? Usually when you're doing some hard surface stuff. So say, for example, if we started off with a sphere, clip, clip the size, clip the top, um, that kind of thing. Or if you have an object that is at already at an arbitrary angle, um, you can isolate that. This was maybe a little bit deep inside the head that I, or the helmet that I was looking at here. So I can isolate this. I can press W to go into the transpose tool and press Alt to click on the surface. That will find the surface normal and point up from there. So now I can just hold down control and just clip this back until I find the depth that I'd actually want it to be at. which is about there. So hope these tips help. Please do comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for other tutorials. Thanks. Bye.